doing today I thought I would take you along for a little day in my life vlog you guys seem to have been really enjoying these kind of at home just chilled kind of soothing vlogs as I like to call them today is a filming day so I do have to wash my hair because it really needs it. The video that I'm filming needs me to already be in makeup so I thought I would just take this camera downstairs and we will um, do a little get ready with me as part of this vlog. So it's pretty much my plan for the morning. I hope to fit in a little bit of practice before lunch as well and after lunch I have to edit that video and like upload it and stuff. I normally try and break sort of the editing and the actual like uploading and description and stuff into different Sort of times of the day but the rest of this week is actually quite busy so i have to utilize that free time so yeah i've got that and then this evening i'm actually doing a sort of zoom session with my old music teacher all the way back in new zealand she's invited me to come and talk to some of her current students just to kind of give some inspiration it's a great way to create some really nice interactive content right now for the students at the university in new zealand because obviously as musicians it's really hard not being able to play music together That's why we do what we do so everyone is trying to be as innovative as possible and come up with like interesting and helpful content so hopefully my little Q&A with my old teacher goes down well and they enjoy it So I just got out of the shower and I wanted to let you know that this next little portion of the video is sponsored by Ricky Loves Ricky. If you haven't heard of this brand before, they make light up vanity mirrors. A bunch of different sizes. There's a really, really huge one. I think it's called the Ricky Tall. Um, and they also have little ones that you can keep like in your makeup bag. But the one that I've got here today that I wanted to show you is called the Ricky Skinny. And it's this little one here. And I've got it attached here to my existing bathroom mirrors using a suction cup that you can get from them as well. This just helps to provide such a nice lighting in this bathroom for when I want to do my makeup, especially if I'm getting ready in the morning before like the natural light is up. It really arrived at like the perfect time. Like of course I'm going to enjoy it and use it for beauty. I'm definitely getting more use out of it now in my sort of online lessons and meetings. I'll show you guys my setup for like the Zoom lessons and stuff later on this evening because I do actually have that meeting as I say with my old teacher so I'll be able to show you what that's like. So it does come with this little stand as well it's like adjustable you can kind of change the angle so that's if you want to use it sitting on your vanity. It also comes with a magnifying mirror that does magnetically attach to the front of the mirror that's where the recharging plug is and then here this is such a cool feature this is a little cell phone clip holder that actually attaches to the front of the mirror it just clips onto the center there it just magnetizes to the mirror and then you can just slot your hey Alex <laughs> you can just slot your um, phone in there and you can rotate it if you'd rather have it like vertical. It does have different brightness levels as well. It can go really really bright but my camera is going to adjust the lighting automatically. It's going to make it look a lot more dim just because the light sensor in these G7Xs is a bit crazy. Maybe you'll be able to see the brightness levels if I do it. So this is the lowest brightness here. Still pretty bright on the lowest setting I must say. Um, so if you do have quite sensitive eyes it can be quite bright like the leds are really strong but as you go up you really start to get some full on <laughs> lighting so i'm just gonna tone that down a little bit because we we don't have much coming from this side so i'll have a link to the mirror in the description below if you're interested now it's time to put on some makeup and get on with the rest of my day i'm just gonna go in with my hourglass stick foundation this has been the foundation i've been wearing so much lately and i've talked about it in a couple of videos but the way i apply it now is that i actually swipe it directly onto my sponge all right then i'm going in with some cream base products i'm gonna start with bronzer using the recently discontinued Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzer. They have discontinued this formula, they're replacing it with a new formula under their Le Beige's line, but supposedly the formula is not as good. Um, I'll try to remember to link Mel Thompson's comparison video below, but I'm really, really gutted because I absolutely love this product and I just don't know why they would change the formula, just to be cheap probably. It was just such a good it was just such a good product. I'm gutted. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of cream blush. I'm using the Aritam Sugar Ball Cushion Cheek Colors, which I think these have been discontinued too. <laughs> they were my favorite cream blush that I could get from YesStyle. They've gone from YesStyle, but I believe they might be still floating around on other sites, but it does seem like 
this company might have actually discontinued the product entirely. Like it's not just like your style's no longer stocking it. For my everyday face, I've just been leaving my base kind of at that and just putting brows and mascara on. But because I'm gonna film a video today, I wanna put just a little bit of extra on. So I'm gonna use my Mecca Max highlighter. Really subtle highlighter, this one though. It's like quite satiny, so it looks really natural. And I will just pop in with a little bit of strategic powdering as well. Just around here. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. Then I'm gonna use another product which is supposedly changed. <laughs> so the Marcel Perfect Brow, it's a Canadian product. One of my favorite brow gels. I got sent it by a Canadian subscriber a while back. And supposedly they've changed the formula and changed the color, made it a lot warmer and the brush is no longer really nice and skinny. So I'm pretty gutted. I do still have another tube of the old formula in my collection so that's good i'll be able to continue to use it in my personal use but it's a shame i won't really be able to like recommend it anymore and then i'm just going to put on a little bit of my urban decay naked 2 another discontinued product i put a lot of these kind of discontinued products though into my everyday makeup drawer because i do want to try and like get through them and actually use them up because many of them are quite old as well particularly this palette oh my gosh this palette's about seven years old <laughs> still working okay I can definitely start to feel the quality is starting to dip in it now do my usual waterline routine I've also been playing with this lately it's a Shuamura refillable liquid liner which is such a cool concept so when it runs out you can just buy a refill for it rather than a whole new one it is a brush tip but it is quite wide it can be a little bit difficult to get a super thin line with it but if you are just lining the top lash line then it is absolutely fine in fact, it's quite easy. And pop on some mascara. And then I've just popped on my little lip combo of my NYX Suede Lip Liner in Lavender and Lace. And the, the same Eco Soul Lip Oil in Berry. So now I'm going to do something with my hair. I'm going to film my other video that I have to do today. And then I think I'm going to have to have lunch. Alex did make me some avocado on toast before, but I, yeah, I'm going to need a lunch break, I think, before I do practice. So we'll do that. Then we'll practice. Then we'll edit the video. And then we'll do the Zoom meeting. I will get through today. Alrighty. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello, all the way down there. It's nice to see you. <laughs> We've had a... A very separate morning. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. That's okay. You've been working hard. I had some good chats. Walked around in the sun. Oh, I'm lucky. Yeah. I'm just been spending all my morning inside. So I'm very hungry now. I need to eat something. Alex even had his lunch without me. I did. More supportive husband yeah. when I'm fed. No, that's so. very true. So I'm going to have some lunch. And then I'm going to do some practice and you're probably going to do some practice as well. Yeah. I'm you just have to allow me, you just have to allow me like two or three minutes to be able to play something for them yeah. without your horn blaring in the background Sorry. as well. I'll just be heavily breathing in the background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, amazing. If you don't know as well, Alex is a horn player because we do have some new folks here. I forget that. This is Alex, <laughs> my husband, not just some random yeah, guy yeah, in my house. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Last night's one night stand. <laughs> Stay for breakfast and lunch. Okay, so for lunch, I'm gonna have this leftover soup. It's from the Jamie Oliver Five Ingredient book. It's the Papa Al Pomodoro soup, and it's literally tomato soup full of garlic bread. Well, we, we use garlic bread. He just says crusty loaf, but garlic bread's way better. And um, while that is heating up, I'm gonna have some of these pretzels. I believe these are <clears throat> Croatian, <laughs> Croatian pretzels. I get them at my local like European deli where me and Alex try and buy a lot of our groceries because we want to support local, support the small grocers and businesses to get through. But it's also fun because they have a lot of random foods and brands and stuff that I've never seen or tried before, uh, including a lot of really nice Italian foods like little Italian desserts and amazing pasta and pasta sauces, like fresh made ones, oh, so good. Alrighty. Share the recipe. It's so good. Mm. I mentioned which book it was from. That is so yum. So I just finished my practice and I put the memory card in to like take the footage off and put it on my hard drive what am I trying to say I tried using my other mic but I'm not used to using that mic with my vlog camera and basically it was all distorted and horrible 
so I'm sorry that you missed my practice but I thought I would just play you a little ditty now so that you at least get something something violin-y. I'll have to figure the settings out because the other the other microphone is way better than this little thing that I use for my vlog camera but normally but it was just horrible it was all distorted so maybe let's move back a little bit so I have a bit more room. I'm not gonna hit the wall. <laughs> So I'm going to set up for this zoom session that I have to do. I'm going to set up here on the end of my table just so that I can sit in that chair, have a bit of change of scenery from my desk. And I'm going to show you how I use this little guy for zooming. I, I have the same setup for like lessons as well as like just chatting. Let's pop you guys over here and we'll see if we can show you this. So we're just going to pop the phone in like that and then it literally just magnetizes to the mirror <laughs> it's amazing and then we'll put on the lights I'll probably only need like the lowest level because I'm you know not needing to do my makeup or anything it's just to illuminate my face a little bit more so that's it without the mirror lights on and then that is with the lights on <laughs> it's so much better Ooh, get really bright if you really want to but I think just literally the lowest level is enough. It just helps to take that edge off so you're not like <laughs> Yeah, so I'm so happy with this anyway I'm gonna do this session and then we'll have some dinner. I'm not sure what we have. This is not alcoholic by the way It's juice and then we're gonna have dinner. I'm not sure we're eating for dinner yet But I didn't manage to finish my editing so I'm probably gonna have to carry on after I normally am not this busy But as I say me and Alex are working really hard on a project for him at the moment for like the music stuff um, And I really need to do a lot of the support for him for that So I really need to just get my YouTube video edited out of the way today. So Hence why I am pushing through a bit more and kind of packing in so much into this day. But I like keeping busy because, you know, it's not much else to do at this point. <laughs> okay, I forgot I was vlogging. <laughs> so it is quarter to nine now, quite late, but I did not miss dinner because it is that late that we're eating dinner. We're having a halloumi salad, which is so good. It's covered in this um, kind of... What would you call that that yogurt dressing thing that you make? Um, I was from the Nats when I reckon curry episode. Yeah, but it's like just you recommend. I have already have. Um, and it is Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt with cumin and coriander. Mm, it's really yummy. So that's kind of the dressing that's like on here, and then fried halloumi, lots of just salad leaves and stuff, and then dukkha. Heck yes, that is really good on a salad. You have to try it, and then of course some garlic bread on the side because. It was left over from last night. <laughs> it was left over and uh, we need garlic carbs. Garlic bread soup. Yeah, garlic bread soup, which I had for lunch. <sighs> so I'm going to enjoy this because I am actually quite starving now. I had some pretzels in the afternoon again <laughs> and a drink of juice with my Zoom meeting. And uh, yeah, now it's just really late. So I know. <laughs> we're going to bed soon anyway. So you can see our dog socks in the background. 
Um, it was really nice to hang out with you guys today. Thank you so much for coming along with my day. Sorry it was so packed and it was one of those crazy days where I just sort of talked at the camera a lot, but you guys seem to like my vlogs. I'm trying to do them like once a month, so I hope you're enjoying them. Bye. Goodbye.